So it's about the same as Omicron. I th people don't think that it's anything different so far in terms of symptoms. Um, so uh, very much like a cold, very mild for many people. Some people are getting more severe going to the hospital. Um, the concerning thing about BA2 is that it's overtaking Omicron, the regular strain of Omicron, which is called BA1, uh, more rapidly. And, you know, for example, in Denmark, it went from about, you know, maybe 20% in December to more than half the cases now in a very short order of time. 400 cases so far in the UK, maybe 200 in the US identified. They're in about 40 countries so far. So it's kind of like <clears throat> the new Omicron, so to speak. The problem with uh, BA2 uh, subvariant is that um, it's not as easily identified. You still tell that it's COVID or SARS-CoV-2, but to figure out it's BA2, you have to do a, a more laborious entire genomic sequencing. So that's why people think it's more common than is meeting the eye. Uh, but the silver lining is so far, we don't think it's necessarily causing more severe disease. Uh, the a governmental agency from Denmark, where it's really overtaken the regular Omicron, uh, didn't really find any difference in the hospitalization rate between BA1, regular Omicron, and BA2, um, the new sort of like uh, souped up Omicron.